Hi, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, or good night, depending on whatever time you have to be watching my channel or my video. My name is Justine, and I do unboxings of vintage items that I happen to find here in Japan, as well as pre-loved items uh, that are of the luxury variety that I happen to find here in Japan. If you are new to my channel, hi, welcome. I hope you enjoy the video and the barrage that will be happening. If you are a returnee, welcome back, girl or guy, because luxury and vintage is not just for females. So today, I am actually going to shoot a series. So I have recently done two previous videos on two separate sizes of a certain bag, um, pretty much in the same exact line as um, a video that I have shot earlier. So today I'm actually going to end up shooting the first video of a five part series of kind of sort of reintroducing those bags and um, just showing you the comparison, showing you the different sizes and really just showing you what I have in my collection. Um, so as I stated uh, previously, I have my Starbucks mug. Today's mug choice or for this series will be Athens. Um, so whenever I drink out of this mug, it reminds me of my first trip to Athens. As a lot of you guys have known, I lived in Europe for about two and a half years prior to living in Japan for the last four. So, um, I always make it a point to go back to Europe at least once a year. Um, last year was no different. This year, I'm not gonna be able to make that trip because Dorona. Um, but I was able to go and spend Christmas, um, not really Christmas in Athens, but I traveled to Athens for my Christmas celebration or my uh, yearly Christmas trip. So I was able to do a little bit of a journey where I started in Athens and then I went from Athens to Israel, Israel to Jordan, Jordan to uh, Egypt, back to Athens. And I kind of sort of felt like it was a very nice reverse step in history and just seeing um, essentially, you know, the, the creation of man and just seeing a whole slew of ancient civilizations and being able to see all the architecture and all the archeological uh, wonders was just amazing for me. Um, I love Europe, I love traveling, as you know. I'm kind of like in a depressive stupor because I have not been able to travel. So that is today's mug, and I'm actually going to make this the mug of the series. So the new videos that I shoot will feature our Athens mug. We'll talk about some things from Athens, maybe, maybe not. And then the culminating video, which will have all four of the uh, bags in it, will also feature the Athens mug. So today, let's get into it. So we've already talked about the PM size of the Gaberchi. We've already talked about one of the GM size of the Gaberchi. And now I'm gonna show you the other GM size as well as the MM size of the Gaberchi. And then I'm gonna show you a video of all four of them and do a side-by-side -side comparison of them all. So today I'm actually gonna show you the MM because I've already shown you guys the PM. So without further ado, the Gaberchi MM size. So a distinct note, um, the distinct notion or distinct difference between the MM and the PM size is the MM size comes with the two tabs and the PM size only has the one. Um, so I'm going to do kind of PM size, MM size. So just a little bit slightly different. So what I like about this, um, similar to the PM, it also has the back pocket, which is a very nice deep pocket. I usually keep, um, a card holder in here or I keep my cell phone on the outside just in case and then it doesn't have like the buckles per se it has just a little brass studs which I kind of like and it's kind of cute so I like to fill this a lot so that way this doesn't um, get too loose and it actually catches and holds so I I stuffed this bag just for a size reference but on the inside it has its big pocket in the center uh, duh, duh, right here um, so it's actually, it's a really nice size, especially for, you know, huge George R.R. R. Martin book, as you can see, fits in here. No problem. Ease, uh, easy day. This would actually not fit my iPad pro. It's a little bit too short. Um, but if I had an iPad mini, this would definitely fit in here. And it also comes with the two pockets on the outside which I love these pockets because I use these again for uh, things I want to quickly grab and go like my car keys, uh, maybe a bigger wallet or maybe some chapstick, some gum, something I put in these pockets. I like it. And then it has the inside pocket, which nothing too fancy. It's just an inside pocket Ugh. right on here. So you have the smaller pocket, which you can put whatever you want, coins, change, whatever, dollar bills. Then you have the bigger pocket. We can put your bigger items bigger wallets, purses, 
or well, small SLGs or your cell phones. And then you have the two other pockets towards the outside that you can put things that you don't necessarily want to go all the way into your bag for, but you just want to be able to reach to the two outside pockets. And then you also have the back outside pocket, which you can put things that you don't want to have to go into your purse and you want to keep close to your body. Um, so this is a crossbody bag. You know, I am a girl who loves her crossbodies. I am a girl who loves her totes. I totes my goats. I love a good crossbody. I love a good hobo bag. I just love a good Louis Vuitton bag. Something that is universal, something I can grab and go, something I can use every single day. So I did purchase this here in Japan on the pre-loved market. Do a little body mod for you. So this fits like perfect right where I need it to. So I personally like my crossbodies to kind of sort of be at this level, um, at this length, because it's easy for me just to be able to reach in, grab something. I can not reach in, not grab something, uh, reach into the side pocket down here, or just carry it around on the streets. Um, and I feel a bit more secure with this, and that's why I kind of sort of like the crossbodies, and I like the older vintage more crossbodies, because it just seems so much more secure. So this would be something that I would carry, um, on a trip, like if I was traveling through Southeast Asia, this would be a crossbody bag that I'd probably carry, similar to my some more, how I, I love carrying my some more when I travel because it has the buckles and it has the saddle and it makes me feel a lot more secure. Um, so I picked this up here in Japan and I wanna say I paid less than $400 for this, which was a steal in all honesty. Um, and let me find a day code for you, AR1905, so. October 1995. What was I doing in October 1995? I was nine. I wasn't even thinking about Louis Vuitton. I didn't even know how, what Louis Vuitton was, but yeah. So um, the only thing that, there's really nothing wrong with this bag that I picked up. The only thing that I would probably get replaced, which is a common problem on this, this style of bag. It's not a fault of just this one bag, but it's actually a common problem with the um, the vintage bags of this line is just here. You can tell that these bags get a lot of wear. And so the leather on the sides get really worn. But I mean, that's not that bad. This gives this bag character. That's what I think. I think it's a character. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So that is your MM size. And next up will be the second GM size. And then we will go ahead and finish up the rest of the sizes as well as a comparison of all four. So thank you for joining me on my channel. If you liked the video, please smash the like button. If you wanna see more videos, come on girl, subscribe or guy, subscribe, cause you know you wanna see more things. So let me know what you wanna see. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please put them in the comment section down below. I make it a point to answer all of your questions and all of your queries. And as always, happy hunting.